Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Visio module. In this module, we're going to look at two different diagrams. The first one, the brainstorming diagram, and then maps and charts. First of all, brainstorming. Double click on the icon, load up the stencil. Drag the main topic onto the screen and type the name, training type, and then you've got options of dragging individual topics on. So just double click on this one, call it classroom based. And we'll have another one, double click on that one, online based. And another one, post. So now each of these you can connect up to the main topic via these dynamic lines. Um, if I'll just delete that one and do that one again. That's it. Just should snap into position and then you can stick them to the ends of your topics. Like so. You have got the option of bringing in multi topics where you can type in test one, stuff like this, test two, just creating a list, test three. Okay. And then bring in a dynamic connector. Again, into your diagram. Now, the other stencil you have is a legend shape stencil. You can bring a legend onto the screen. And this legend will automatically populate when you add some shapes. So for this example, um, I'm going to Put a priority shape there and you can see this then starts developing priority two online based priority three postal and each of these populate in the legend now if you right click on the legend you can configure the legend and for example this quantity i'm going to take that off by ticking that box to get rid of that and then you have got other options that you can bring um, into this and each time you bring one of these icons onto the screen your legend will pick that one up and that basically is how you create um, a brainstorm diagram now the other diagram I said what we would look at was the maps so if I go file new and click on business the section business and then you have charts and graphs if i double click onto that to open up the diagram and display the stencil you have a series of charting shapes i'm just going to bring a couple of these on to see how they work number of categories five click ok and then you can um, name this, you can type the amount that the bar represents in these boxes like so. And then you can position that wherever you require. Now the one that always catches people out, I think, is this percent example. So I will again just select five if i type 10 in this shape this bar becomes very very big and the reason for that is because that needs to be 10 percent and then it will react as shown so if i do that again for just to click on this one type 34 percent and then 35 percent and I'll leave the other two 
like that. So those are two bar charts. The other one I want to look at is a pie chart. Bring a pie, pie chart onto the screen. Again, gives you the option for the number of segments. And we'll go for five. Now to enter the slices, the size, you need to right click and then click on this option. So you can then just type in the figures that you require and it will react like so. If I click OK on that, that shows you the different sizes of the slices. Now the rest of these diagrams um, you can bring on and this process is the same. You drag the shape on, you set the, the number of elements you require and then you go from that point. So this is just a process diagram. Just got three steps. Um, just type test again. And you can name the process by just typing in the box. You can also type in these boxes. Like so. Now, in addition to these stencils that are displayed, you can select other stencils from the business area. So charts and graphs and then marketing diagrams. There are quite a few really useful marketing diagrams in Microsoft Visio. For example, SWOT analysis, um, which is a common feature used in business. So I'll just drag that shape on to the screen. And then you can type into these boxes uh, as you would normally. So alignment top, left, and maybe a bullet list. Um, test one, test two, same thing for the weaknesses. Bullet list, test three, test four and so on and so on. Um, 3D Pyramid, you can bring the 3D Pyramid, click OK to that. You can then type onto this. You can change the numbers. Uh, you can change the colors from the fill box at the top. Do that on both sides. And you produce a very useful diagram, a very visual diagram. So that was a pyramid. Now if I just got myself a, a blank one and get the marketing shapes um, again. Some of these are the things, scope one, scope two, quite common diagrams. Some of these shapes you can um, ungroup and then you can then pull these apart or push them together, whichever you require. Um, you tend to mess these diagrams up, up quite a lot by doing this, but it, there is that feature. If you so wish to do that, group, ungroup, okay. And then you've got the options to pull these apart if it allows you to. Some of these features are locked um, and it doesn't let you move them, but these all seem to be moving like so. So you could actually take one part of a diagram and add it to another part of a diagram. And you can use tools such as combine, union combine and fragment different shapes. If you've got this developer tab active, which you need to do through options, you can then um, join things together um, and create a third unique shape. So if I just try that, if I just combine those two together. So now that is a one shape. And then to make it separate, I can use fragment 
and then this will pull apart and display different elements of that shape. So if you have images that are quite complicated that you're trying to display, sometimes you may need to join them together using combine and then pull things apart using fragment until you get the shape that you require. But these are the tools that you would need to use. Um, combine fragment. I've also added them up on the quick access toolbar. If you haven't got the developer tab or are not able to activate it through restrictions, that's where you can get them from. More commands and commands not on the ribbon and then find the tools that you want. So there's combine for example, add and then okay. Now, uh, one more feature I would like to show you, and to do that, I'm going to go File New. Um, in fact, I'm going to go New Basic Shapes and just have a quick look at protection. If I bring a shape onto the screen, on the Developer, developer tab, you have a protection option, which you can use to, for example, stop people deleting a shape. OK, and then when somebody tries to delete that, this message will appear. So you've also got um, other options in there. You could select all of these. Some of the preset um, shapes have these already on. If you're trying to delete things or trying to ungroup things and you can't do that, you get this box coming up or something similar to this. This is the place you need to go to have a look and see why that is ticked. Also, if you tick Draw in Explorer, you may have a protected document selected, which would also stop you deleting different things. Whichever is ticked in this box will be um, the item that is restricted. So that is the end of this module in Microsoft Visio. Thank you for your time and hopefully I'll see you again soon.